A nice crispy batter is the mark of a good fish and chip shop. But it isn't at all difficult to make a really lovely fish batter at home. And the best secret ingredient is this, beer. Start with about eight tablespoons of plain flour in a large mixing bowl. Little tip, whisking dry flour is almost just as effective as sieving it. Trickle in a couple of tablespoons of groundnut oil. Then comes the beer. I tend to add it by eye, stirring all the time. It smells fantastic while you're doing this. There's always a moment with this batter that it looks as if it's going to be overtaken and bogged down with the dreaded lumps. But you just have to get on with it and give it some elbow and you'll get there in the end. The final consistency you're looking for is that of a thick gloss paint. Season well and while your batter rests for about half an hour, there's just time to prepare some fishy treats to drop in it. You can batter and fry just about any fresh fish fillet, and along with my classic squid rings, Gill's preparing delicious goujons of the much misunderstood dogfish. Each piece of fish gets a thorough even coating of the batter and is lowered straight away into a pan of fiercely hot oil. 175 Celsius is the temperature you're looking for. Let them bubble away for a couple of minutes until they're golden brown and beautifully crispy. It's really worth getting to grips with this batter because it's easy, it's delicious and it's incredibly versatile. You could use place fillets, whiting, bream, bass if you're feeling extravagant. I've even done it with scallops and oysters. 